Have you ever wondered if our ancestors might have taken a dip not just for fun but as a part of their evolutionary journey? Today we delve into the aquatic ape theory, an unconventional viewpoint suggesting our forebears experienced an aquatic or semi-aquatic phase, born from the minds of a few daring thinkers. This theory challenges traditional concepts of human evolution. This theory, though controversial, presents an intriguing twist to our understanding of human evolution. The aquatic ape theory, like any good scientific hypothesis, has its merits. This intriguing theory offers some fascinating insights into our evolutionary journey. The crux of the aquatic ape theory is that our ancestors went through a semi-aquatic stage which explains certain distinctive human traits. Firstly, our upright posture. Unlike our primate cousins who move on all fours, we walk on two legs. This bipedalism is a boon in water, allowing us to wade through while keeping our heads above the surface. Next, our relative hairlessness. Other primates have fur, but we humans have smooth skin, more akin to aquatic mammals. This might have been an adaptation to a watery environment. Then there's our unique subcutaneous fat layer, similar to that of marine mammals, providing buoyancy and insulation in water. And let's not forget, we're the only primates capable of consciously holding our breath, a handy skill when diving for food. So the aquatic ape theory provides some compelling explanations for certain human features that traditional evolution theories struggle to account for. Scene script. However, not all that glitters is gold and the aquatic ape theory has its share of critics. Firstly, the aquatic ape theory is not supported by a wealth of fossil evidence. Many believe that if our ancestors did live in aquatic environments, we would have more fossil records from such habitats. Yet, to this day, no such evidence has surfaced. Secondly, the theory is called into question when we consider other semi-aquatic animals. For instance, otters and beavers, despite their aquatic lifestyles, have not developed traits like bipedalism or lost their body hair, as the aquatic ape theory would suggest. Lastly, other theories can also account for the same human traits that the aquatic ape theory explains. For example, the endurance running hypothesis suggests that bipedalism developed as a result of our ancestors needing to cover large distances efficiently on land, not water. These criticisms highlight the need for more substantial evidence before the aquatic ape theory can gain broader acceptance. So, where does this leave us in understanding our evolutionary journey? We've delved into the aquatic ape theory, exploring its intriguing aspects and the compelling arguments both for and against it. This theory, as controversial as it is captivating, adds another dimension to our understanding of human evolution, inviting more questions and sparking deeper exploration. It underscores the need for continued research in our relentless quest for knowledge. Whether you believe in the aquatic ape theory or not, it undeniably adds a splash of intrigue to the story of human evolution.